Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you Amen. in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who, while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your meads is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Please stand. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. I suppose that lahat ho tayo dito ay may mga social media account. No? And if not every day, no? kung may free time tayo at hawak natin ang cellphone, what we do is just simply scroll no? and scroll and scroll. And sometimes, no? prying on other people's lives. No? Tinitina natin kung anong balita sa ibang tao. No? At sa mga ibang news outlets, no? um, um, nagfa-follow tayo. Um, yun yung pinaka CCTV natin ngayon ko ano yung mga pinopost no no mga friends natin o kaya mga ini-spy natin no? recently lang no napansin ko no with regards to um, some news agency international news agency that i follow no kahit dito local no? um, while already aware of the kind of news no na nakalagay doon sa parang pinaka topic no um, pressing yung share ay may nakalagay pang disclaimer no? sabi doon ay it goes like this no? hindi mo pa nababasa ang article na ito no? sabi no? sigurado ka ba na isi-share mo to we suggest that you read first the article before sharing it no? may ganun talagang disclaimer siguro ito ay para to prevent no? spreading fake news no or spreading somehow misinformation that we know no is very prevalent nowadays no kasi nga no pag nakarinig tayo ng balita no, nakadepende rin actually sa disposition ng tumatanggap no? i mean how you tell the story shapes the story no and how the receiver receives it colors no the entire narrative why am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? In our celebration today, no, May 31, ngayong araw na ito, ginugunita natin ang pagbisita ni Maria sa kanyang pinsang si Elizabeth. This is what we meditate on the second joyful mystery sa 
Santo Rosario. At kung titingnan natin ang pangyayari, no? before the visitation, it was actually the angel Gabriel announcing to Mary no? na ang kanyang pinsan ding si Elizabeth na matagal ng bansag na baog ay buntis rin. No? Kumbaga, no? in a layman's term, no? ang pinakachismoso talaga ay si Gabriel. No? Na chinismis niya, uy, yung pinsan mo buntis. No? Ikaw buntis din. No? Sabi ni Maria, paano yun maging posible? Eh, wala akong jowa. No? Walang imposible sa Diyos. Ang pinsan mo nga, nabao, buntis eh. And so, through her curiosity perhaps, confirming the news, kahit alam niyang buntis siya at nagdadalang tao, she did travel to a far-flung region of Judea. Tama ba? Yes. Just to visit her cousin. And when they meet, Nung narinig ni Elizabeth ang boses ni Maria, anong sabi ni Elizabeth? Kahit yung batang nasa sinapupunan niya ay lumukso sa tuwa. What can we learn and meditate, reflect on for our Gospel's message today, our celebration? Lahat ho tayo dito ay tagadala din ng balita. Lahat ho tayo dito ay bearers din ng mabuting balita. At tayong lahat, tagadala din ni no? Ni Jesus. Kagaya ni Maria, nadaladala niya si Jesus sa kanyang sinapupunan, all of us also represents Jesus. Check nyo nga yung mga katabi nyo. Kamukha ba yan ni Jesus? No? O hindi? Yes, we all are. No? We are all bearers of the good news, God's message. No? And we have the responsibility to what? Share, no? impart, no matter how uncomfortable it is. No, no matter sometimes it is to our disadvantage we keep on spreading the good news. And the end of it is what? Joy. The joy of the gospel. No? Kaya nga, napakanta si Maria no? ng kanyang magnificat. Siya ay masayang masaya sa kanyang pagbabahagi, sa kanyang natanggap sa sinapupunan na si Jesus. Ganun din ho sana tayo. We are peddlers of good news, not of fake news. We are supposed to be fedlers of God's message. As my professor would say, no, kapag narinig mo ang balita, mabuting balita, wala ka ng ibang magagawa, kundi ikalat ito. No? Kakati ang dila mo. But we ask ourselves, no? ano ba yung mga usualing mga circumstances na kumakati ang dila natin? Especially if we don't like the person, imaretes ko na lang yan. Ano? Hindi ko gusto yan, siraan ko na lang yan. No? To the point of what? Blowing other people's scandal Hipan mo ang kandila ng ibang tao, believing that yours will light up brighter. No. Hindi ho ganun ang pamamaraan ng Diyos. No? What we do is we encourage each other, support each other, and pray for each other. Bearing always this good news, no? Jesus sa bawat isa sa atin. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, for this Mass, through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Elizabeth, may we be inspired
to share Jesus, the good news, to one another. How? Live a life worthy of emulation, being a good example to one another. It's as simple as that. Kahit ano kasing sabihin mo, no? kahit anong pangangaral mo, kapag hindi naman ito nakikita sa buhay mo, walang maniniwala sa iyo. More than the words that came to our, with, through our mouth, no? live a life no? that is reflecting of who you represent, of who you follow. Amen. Please stand. Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord, but only Mary wished to share her joy. As we rejoice on this feast day, let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished these chosen women. In every prayer we all say, Overflow us with your graces, Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord that the church may fully open its heart to God's word and proclaim it with joy to all peoples and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow, Overflow us with, with your, your graces, graces Lord. Lord. That leaders of nations may devise programs for building a better world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow, Overflow us with, with your, your graces, graces Lord. Lord that through the inspiration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may intensify our efforts in creating a better social order. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow, Overflow us with your graces, Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Lord God, you put down the mighty and raise up the humble. Aided by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our hopes to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May our offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim her kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give, give us this day our, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only but say, only the, say word, the word, and my soul, and my soul, shall, soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray.
May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist lived with joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so you may church rejoice to receive in the sacrament the same every living Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel. On our fifth day of our novena to the Holy Spirit, we beg for the grace, the gift of understanding. Let us remember in our prayer today the sick, the dying, and those who care for them, that the healing power of the Holy Spirit may touch them, body and soul, and give them strength. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Understanding as a gift of the Holy Spirit perfects our faith by enabling us to penetrate the inner meaning of revealed truths in a way that transcends human reason. Our natural way of knowing is elevated by a grace, intuition, and insight in the things of God. By faith, we know them, but by the gift of understanding, we learn to appreciate and relish them. This appreciation radiates outward to others because our faith is no longer just a matter of information from a book, but a way of living rooted in intimacy with the mysteries of Christ. May the Holy Spirit attune our hearts and minds to a deeper spiritual understanding of these mysteries, so that as missionary disciples of a new Pentecost in our time, we may draw others to Christ and to His Church. Let us all pray. Father, Father send the Holy Spirit into our minds and hearts giving us a deeper understanding of the mysteries of salvation. May he teach and instruct us, the people you have made your own, so that we may never waver in our faith, but by the gift of understanding may be ready to give an answer to all who ask the reason for the hope that is within us. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, sit of wisdom. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Thanks be to God. Regina,